Behemoth. <coughs> That's a huge bitch! Today on Film Learning, I'm going to teach you how to make some sweet 3D text that'll look a little bit like this. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And today on the show, just like I said like five seconds ago, I'm going to be teaching you how to make some sweet chiseled 3D text. And it's going to take not one, not two, but three programs to make it. Fun, right? <laughs> And on top of that, there's a bonus. I've also included a Captain Marvel title template. So, there's that too. My God. Now guys, before we get into anything, I've really got to give a big shout out and props to the guys over at Filmrite. If I hadn't actually seen their episode on making custom beveled text in Photoshop and transposing it over to Blender and then back into After Effects, I wouldn't be doing this episode at all. I didn't even know that was a function in Photoshop. So while the end result and the methods are a little bit different, I still want to give them a big thank you for making me aware that this is actually a thing. So thanks very much guys. But if you want to follow along and make the Captain Marvel title template, you need to head to filmlearning.com slash downloads and grab that Captain Marvel title template download pack. I don't want to say that again. That contains the Cinema 4D file we're working with, the After Effects file we're working with, and I think I'll just throw in the font just for good measure. Now, you got all that? Well, let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, so here we are in After Effects, and I'm just gonna open up a new comp in Film 4K. That's nice and really big. So let's just hit OK. Next up, let's head over to the text menu here and make sure that the fill and stroke are set to white. Done. We'll then set the stroke width to three and the size to 200. From there, let's make sure we're on the right font, this one right here, and let's type Captain. Next, well, let's duplicate that and type Marvel. We'll then bust that size up to say 500 and adjust the distance between the Marvel and the Captain uh, just down a tad. Much better. Now all we have to do is fix that T, because the original Captain Marvel title, that T is just a tad different. It has these angular cuts on the T. Now to do that is pretty easy, gang. We're just going to grab the pen tool and do a little masking. So we're just going to select the Captain layer and just draw a mask here. And boop, and there goes our text. So we're just going to change that mask from add to subtract. And then we're just going to repeat those steps for the other side of the T. Nice. Lastly, I'm going to quickly pre-compose this, guys, and hit OK. Then I'm just going to scale it up so it takes up nearly the entire frame. And of course, we're going to head down the bottom here and hit that Collapse Transformation option. That way, that brings our sharpness back and we're still in vectorize mode. Nice. OK, time to render this out because, gang, we are done in After Effects for now. Let's head up to Composition, Save Frame As, and from there, let's click on Lossless from the drop down menu, we're going to select PNG and make sure that RGB plus alpha is selected. Now, all we're going to do is smack down that render button and we'll head over to Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I've already opened my title PNG file. So from there, all we need to do is head up to 3D here to new extrusion from current layer and bam, our text is now 3D. Now, firstly, I don't want the extrusion quite that deep. So let's bring that back to say five inches. Next, from the shape preset menu, we're gonna select inflate. And from there, we'll click on cap right here and we're gonna to start to tweak some settings. Firstly, set the width to 100%. This is gonna give us that chiseled look. Next, we wanna set the angle to around 36 to 38 degrees. Basically, this setting sets how much the cap sticks out. Like if we want really juttery our angles, we bring this up, and if we want it to be a bit more subtle, which we do, let's just set this to a lower number like 36. And that's it, gang. We just made chiseled 3D text, something that simply can't be done in cinema without a crap load of farting around. I'm serious, a lot of farting around. Now, let's head to 3D and export this bad boy to cinema or element or your 3D program of choice. I'm using Cinema because, well, I have it, and it comes free with After Effects. So I'm going to select Wavefront OBJ from the drop-down menu and hit OK. From here, let's save your file to wherever you want to save it, and we'll head over to Cinema. All right, now we're in Cinema. I've opened up the project file from the download pack. Now, 
To bring in your text is pretty easy, guys. All we have to do is head up to File and hit Merge, grab your OBJ file you've exported from Cinema, and hit OK. Now it's going to come in way back in Z-Space, and the axis controls or the anchor point is going to be way off, not to mention it's also transparent and, well, who the hell wants any of this stuff? So, to fix the materials, we simply delete them from the object and we head down to the material menu and delete them down there. Done. Next, let's fix those terrible axis controls. You can see here on the top menu, if I enable multi-view, that the axis controls are way in front of our text and that's gonna make manipulating it just a nightmare. So, what we're gonna do is come over here and we're gonna hit the enable axis tool. That way, we can now move our axis tool all the way up so it marries up with our text. Then, we just need to enable multi-view again and hit the front view and we're gonna center it there in the front view as well. Now, if we turn that off, our anchor point slash axis tool is now much easier to use because it's actually sitting on top of our text. Just a little tip for you there. We can now move our new text to align with my placeholder text right at the front here. Let's bring it up. Good. We can now scale it down a little. And finally, I'm going to hit the rotate tool and just rotate this a little bit just to match in. Now guys, it's not a perfect match, but that doesn't really matter. Now lastly here gang, all we have to do is copy the textures over from my placeholder text to our new text. To do that, we're going to hold down the control key, select both materials and just drag them up on our text like so. Done. Let's now turn off my placeholder text by clicking these two right here until they go red. Done. And if we check out a preview, you can see that we already have a camera animation in place and if you've seen any one of my Marvel title effects, you know you can also customize that Marvel logo up here. So I'm just going to add a card above and I'm going to skip that part guys because I've gone over it just a couple of times. So we're going to hit up to file and we're going to hit save as and we'll rename it so we still have our source file. Done. Let's now head back to After Effects. Okay, so we're back in After Effects and I've opened up the AE project file in the download pack. Now, all we have to do is a couple of things here, guys. Firstly, we need to replace this Cinema 4D file that's right here. So, let's now replace that file with our newly minted one. Done. Now, you may have noticed that your flares are now out of alignment in the template. And that's the second thing we're going to fix. If we open up our flare comp here, and then head to the end of the comp, and say, drop our Cinema 4D file in, we can now move those flares to line up with our text. Just stick them wherever you want, basically. Now, this is a bit fiddly, but <laughs> isn't everything? Yeah. When you're done, let's delete that Cinema 4D file from the comp, because we don't need it anymore. And then we'll head back to our final comp and check out a preview. Nice. So guys, that is how you build custom 3D chiseled text and also the Captain Marvel title card. You can really use this technique to build all kinds of sweet 3D text that you otherwise can't build in cinema without a lot of annoying work. Is it perfect? No, not at all. But in a pinch, it's pretty good, guys. And that, my friends, is another tutorial. Mm, done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So guys, that's my take on the Captain Marvel title card, as well as my take on the easy 3D chiseled text from After Effects to Photoshop to cinema and back to After Effects again. You know, when you say it like it doesn't seem that easy, but it is. Now guys, I have a lot more exciting effects tutorials coming up in the future. I just really needed an easy one this week because I really couldn't decide on what I wanted to do and I have a finite amount of time to do it. Hopefully in a couple of days, we'll have a new review episode. If not, it might be an effect. I don't know, just keep an eye out. Sorry, that's vague. But for now, guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it, and it really does help out, guys. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film on an episode. I've got Twitter episodes right over here, as well as my social media crap. And if you want to support the channel, you can click that Patreon thing right there, or you can support us directly on YouTube by clicking that Join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.